Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. I'm so glad you've chosen to join me today as we continue to make our way through the book of Deuteronomy. Today, I want to ask you to read or at least scan through a big portion of this book, chapters 12 all the way through chapter 26. In this section of the book, God is preparing his people to inhabit a new land. Now, this land is not like the wilderness where they've been. This land is going to be full of different people who think in different ways, who live in different ways because they worship different gods. And so in these 15 chapters, God is giving his people laws. Remember, the word Deuteronomy literally means a second law. These laws are not just going to make them different. It really is going to make their lives better, better than anything else that they'll see in the land. These are laws about helping the poor financially. A lot of these laws are about how to run your marriage, how to run your family, or even how to run your business. These are laws about how to care for people. Specifically, how do you care for widows and orphans and even immigrants? Again, it doesn't just make life different. These laws were designed to make life better for everyone. The hope is that when the people in this land see how God's people really live, the hope is that they will give up on their false gods and pursue a relationship with the one true God. In fact, I would tell you that wasn't just God's hope for them. That's God's hope for you. God wants you to live a life that's not just different, but actually better, so that when people see your marriage— When people see how you run your family or your business, when people see the way you treat widows and orphans and immigrants, the hope is not so much that they will want to be like you. The hope is that they will want a relationship with your God. This isn't just an Old Testament principle. We hear the same thing from Jesus in the New Testament in the Sermon on the Mount. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus said this, In the same way, Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. 